These men are not professionals. They are still working on technical difficulties. You have been warned. Spaceship Basement Show. Two men, a rock singer, self-confessed troglodyte, and a man of the law, discuss life in its entirety, covering everything from rock, movies, comedy, sports, current events, and maybe even a recipe or two. Who knows? This unlikely duo will want to crawl in your ear and make their thoughts known. Welcome to the troglodyte in 5-0 Spaceship Basement Show! Well, folks, it's been a wonderful day for us at, you know, Chocolate Night and 5 Thanksgiving is coming up, and at the White House, there's three turkeys, chocolate and chip, and two of them have been pardoned, and one went back to work. What do you think about that, 5 I have a, uh, I have a whole opinion on that, brother, but uh, chocolate and chip were, in fact, pardoned by, by President Joe Biden. Yes. And he so was present. He somehow he, he was present. So what happened was, um, so basically they had. It, it, Sorry, Biden, folks. No, <coughs> hey man, oh, cough, cough yeah. on your own time. We're on Fuck fucking off. podcast. <laughs> <time together. laughs> oh yeah. So we had. So what happened was Biden had a fucking granddaughter who got married. So in the midst of this and 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 uh, all the festivities with that, he also pardoned these two turkeys as tradition, as tradition in the White House every year. And chocolate and chip were pardoned. You pardon financial partners that got in trouble getting you rich, and then the Apparently turkeys. Apparently, some fucking turkeys. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Trog, who was that third turkey you were talking about? Uh, listen, no, I don't want to be canceled. Not, listen, not do listen don't you let's dare cancel me. So, he, he, listen, here's here's the other thing. So, um. Just out of curiosity, do you have any idea how many turkeys are killed for Thanksgiving? Um, a lot. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a lot. beyond a lot. Listen, man. it's their fault for de- being so plump and delicious. Oh, I they mean, are wait, hold on. Too. I'm in trouble too. Why? What'd you do? Oh, when the food chain goes awry, I might just be a target. <laughs> do you like? So, do you like the cranberry out of a can? 
Or do you like <coughs> the, the actual homemade cranberry sauce? I'd be honest, I'm sauce. not a cranberry fan. Are you serious? No. Why not? Um, I'll take a little bit uh, on the side when I eat my stuffing. Uh, I don't know. It's just nothing I really was like drawn to. Uh, and no, by the I, way, I get that. Uh, we were poor when when I was young, and it I always that. came out of the can. And yeah. oh, the yeah. funny thing is, is that I've had cranberry sauce um, that was freshly made by fresh cranberries and good ingredients with oh, love, not God, a so not a can good. opener, but so with good. love, and that was really good. And and it's been a rarity for me, but. It's not my favorite. Let's put it that way. No, I, I and I understand that. I, I get that. Um, I, I'm just a fan of the cranberry sauce. Anything cranberry, cranberry drinks, whatever the case may be. Um, and by the way, we have these lights because we're being festive. It's it's the silly season. It's the holidays. It is because we holidays. can't say all the other things no. because it is so not tis, traditional anymore. You know what? The we evolve. All we get. I miss Christmas, and I have Christmas. But it's the yeah. holidays for oh, everyone yeah. because we got to be all inclusive. Because you know what? Not everyone thinks like me. Not everyone thinks like him. Amen. And uh, with that said, we just have to love each other, man. We have to understand each other. And people get mad, you know, that some of the traditions are being snuffed out. But you know what? We evolve as a humankind. And now it's happy holidays. And as much as some people get mad at that, I'm okay with it. Because you know what? To me, it's just a silly season. Yeah. Bottom line. So let's get back. How many turkeys are sacrificed? How many for you our... think, Trog? How many you think? Oh, Jesus. I can give you a number on um, this, but how many you think offhand? 30 million. Yep. Only higher. So I'm going to tell you that about 46 million turkeys Ooh. are killed every year for Thanksgiving. Now, God bless the turkeys. I have one currently... Th- thawing out in my refrigerator with a pan underneath it remember folks this is a little dyi this is a little life hack when you get meat turkeys chicken anything that's large put a pan with the rim on it oh lord yes yeah you're gonna have that overflow otherwise you're gonna get blood in your vegetables because that's usually where you put it at the bottom of the fridge so i know this is probably common sense for a lot of people but there was a time where i had no idea no, I, I I get that. I grew up in a little different situation where we had uh, we were able to have Thanksgiving. Thank goodness, um, every year, and it was it was basically overkill. You know, the family always cooked more fam or more food than we could. Oh actually my god, consume. so much goes to waste every yeah, year. Every year, and I try to get the turkey sandwiches, the turkey soup, yes, the turkey yes. omelets. Like you try to get all that extra food turkey in omelet. it. Omelet? What the hell's a turkey omelet? Dude, it's like two fowls together making a. Bit of goodness. Um, so I mean, you like cook it like with breakfast and your eggs yes, instead of ham. You yes, put yes. I will chop I've it up, put some that. onions in it, put a little sausage in it, saute it with some butter, some oh garlic, maybe gosh. a little bit of hot sauce, um, some green peppers, and I will toss it into the again the frying pan. You know, simmer it up. Get that you know the eggs all laid out in the pan, ready for the omelet. Dude. Put them in there. Flop. Put a little cheese in there. Flop them over. Put some more cheese on the top. Where have Boom. you been all my life? I don't know. Right, no, you were here. on Craigslist. That's where you were. <laughs> yeah, I know. Listen, <laughs> listen. It was a fifty-fifty for both of it us. It was Let's a fifty-fifty, <laughs> and I tell honest. you what, it couldn't be a hundred and ten percent more now. Yes, yes. And uh, again, we always have to introduce our buddy Mojo. Are you ready? You ready for your? No, he's. That's why we need a Mojo Cam. God that big it, bear Mojo. is right underneath the table. Mojo, Mojo, come on, come here. Come on, oh, I got his attention. Come on, come I got on. his yeah, t- yeah, Here he comes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this he is the Yeti. Yeah. He is oh, a Yeti. Oh, let's bring out the monster. That is a Mojo. Mojo is so important to us. He is uh, our he official just, mascot. He, oh, my, he's beyond that. He's yeah. my best friend. Oh. I love him so dearly. And it's Thanksgiving. You get yeah. fat, any fatter, I'm gonna get, probably going to get you for roasting next year. Just kidding. That's he's, why we love the cute animals. We keep them around. He's apparently on my food plan. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're totally keto. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. So again, let's let's celebrate Mojo and Mojo's greatness because Mojo is a great, just a great being on this planet. I'm so thankful for him. Mojo, Daddy loves you. So let's get back to what's going on with Thanksgiving. 
Oh, my God. Listen, we got some cool stuff coming on. <laughs> I'm looking at his screen. I'm just looking over there, dude. I'm I seeing, knew you'd see I, it. I'm seeing all kinds of people doing things that make no sense, which I love so very much. I just love I, I you, love people. I love people that are crazy. I just You man. want to continue in Thanksgiving or you want to jump into this uh, stuff here? Oh, no, no, no. We can go Thanksgiving. I, uh, I'm good with okay, it. Okay, what else you got for Thanksgiving? Because I know that Spam, Spam oh, has. My oh, gosh, my God. Oh, my God. Listen. That back in my day, I told you like the cranberry in the cans. Spam oh my gosh. was part of like, we're not going to be home in time for dinner. Open up some spam and then like, cook it in the pan. And then we had to learn. Listen. Figgy, figgy pudding. Do you see that guy? Spam back there? limited edition. You know pudding. why they limited it? Because it deserves to be limited. <laughs> it absolutely needs to be limited. Who thought this was a good idea? Uh, okay, the, listen. I got to turn off the holiday lights. This is crazy. Oh, all right. man. Sorry, folks. No. It, I was just having good. so much fun. Who, we were in a, who in the world, who in the right mind, who at Spam goes, you know what? Let's make Spam figgy pudding. Uh, listen, <laughs> I, there's all kinds of people with all kinds of jobs. There were like someone in like a lab going, hmm, let's step up the 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 viability and the marketability of spam. Trog, <laughs> all I can tell you is thank effing goodness this is a limited edition. Like I said, I, th- there's a reason things are limited. <laughs> absolutely. You're absolutely right. But anyways, uh, uh, thank you for bringing that up because no, figgy that's, pudding, that's, flavor, uh, spice, and everything nice. Yeah. That is their, that's their tagline for that. Oh, my God. Why don't you put that in the back I for us? I did that. I did that. Let's do it again. I back I, I I'm back want, up. I, I'm I back just up. want everyone just to see. Yeah. Look at that. Spam. This is a thing, people. It is a total thing. This is a thing. <laughs> it's not, I don't necessarily consider it a good thing. Well, listen, we we cannot assess that. We haven't tasted it yet, brother. We have not tasted that spam yet. That's a, that's a fair assessment. That's yes, a fair assessment. We, we, I mean, and that's an. I was telling you um, this morning when we got here and start talking about the show that we need to start like uh, assessing and, and like getting different coffee. We both love coffee. Oh, I love. Can coffee. you tell? We love we love the coffee. stimulant that is caffeine and coffee and most americans love that so we're going to start a segment very soon and trying out different coffee and see how it affects us and how we like it so that's coming <laughs> soon folks but we need to get to stay tuned the for bearded that craziness oh my, gosh, oh craziness. my all right goodness the bearded craziness all right let's uh let's bring that up so here's what oh, we got dude. i i can't uh, trog man Listen, I, folks, you probably won't believe this. I don't think it's, first of all, sanitary. First of all, sane. No. And why would this be a record? That's my there question. There is actually <laughs> a Guinness Book record on this. Oh. This is a thing, man. All right. So, I'm going to let you take this away. I hope so, because this, this is, is this And is by just, the way, this No Shave November, about to go in December, and he is a law officer. You're not allowed to have any facial hair. So now agency. he gets to like have the privilege. And I hope everyone out there that's in charge yeah. realizes that men need their facial hair for you various reasons. Right. So we're going to step into this with that intro there. So um, Casper, Wyoming. <sighs> Boys, I, 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 I love... I love oh, you. Oh, I love this. Dude. I it's love so you. good. This is so good. So, Casper, Wyoming, it, it, it's a state that you don't hear a lot about. You don't hear a lot about Wyoming. So, these guys go into um, November and they decide that they're going to take it just one step further and they're going to break Guinness Book Records. They're definitely taking so, it a step further. I'll oh, tell my you that. gosh. <laughs> so, these guys, these guys have actually taken and organized. <sighs> Do you, are that. you guys seeing this back behind us? Here? Uh, let's get the let's get the middle cam let's going. Let's get the middle cam going. So, oh my goodness, Do they you are see joining what's going on here? beards together. They got in unison. Oh my gosh, they got <laughs> enough guys together in Casper, Wyoming, and this was just recent. This was just a week or two ago, and they actually made the longest beard chain. I'll let that sink in. Who does that? Casper, Wyoming. That's right. That is absolutely correct. What else do you have going on in Wyoming? <laughs> well, I don't know, but I know a lot of people like like to grow a lot of facial hair and then join it. Yeah, oh. these guys, these guys. So they joined it. So they actually believe that they've and and they may have. I don't know. I can't. I can't dispute this. But they believe that they have 
beaten the Guinness Book record for the longest beard chain at 150 feet. I had no idea that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing either, but there's things in this Guinness Book that you uh. just, they're so obscure that you would never know. But no. these guys these guys actually um, took it to the next level, and they decided they were going to defeat whatever, whatever Dude, was there. What? For me, in my yeah. mind, that ranks up like the longest fingernails. How fucking gross is that? How do you wipe your own butt? Oh, listen, that's it's got to be like palm or side hand Dude, wiping. You can't. They you, have to like wrap their hand and like, oh, I don't even want to think a, about no, it. No, really. Let's go truly. back to the beards. The beards are better. Uh, but no, what, what I'm saying is this no. equates to those crazy, uh, you know, world record, uh, you know, Guinness uh, uh, Book of uh, World Records right, that are just right. like absolutely like. On a normal person, their normal life, their normal daily, you know, aspects of how they function. How do you do that? It's it's an anomaly. I, I don't know. I don't. Know I don't how, know either. I don't know how I, as a person with what I consider reasonable hygiene, at least, would be able to live with that. Thank you for saying reasonable. 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 Well, so, we, we sit together in this studio quite a bit, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, my you know gosh. what? And we're, we're happy to do so, man. It's you know what? It, it is a fun time. So, um, so uh, we have we have. Are we going to the Florida uh, news right no, now? No, we're going to stay in Wyoming for this next. Oh, one. okay. I mean, we're already there. Let's just stay in the region. So, um, so here's what we got, and, and, and this is a situation where um, I don't know if you want to call it Darwin Awards per se, but it's one of the one of the dumber things I've seen. You know, it's. Um, so in in Cheyenne, Wyoming, you have F.E. Warren Air Base, Air Force Base. Um, this particular person, and this was just yesterday, uh, November twenty first. This person attempted to run the gate. Now, if you know anything about Air Force bases, you know that that's they're, not a good idea. No, that's like a horrible idea. So these things are heavily horrible. guarded. Um, these guys are very heavily armed. They have anti um, intruder systems in place for these for these type of places. Junk. Right, exactly, and that's what we're getting to here. So this particular person decides to pass the security gate without giving any kind of reasoning or ID or information. They just run the security gate. So what does the Air Force do, Trog? Um, they either shoot at him or implement like uh, a secondary stopping device, like a uh, a pop up ballard or or a metal wall, or because you know I've dealt with uh, you know. Uh, Camp Pendleton, San Diego, and this and that. They they yeah, have yeah, implemented secondary safety, uh, you know, uh, devices to stop intruders, especially someone that's like speeding right through a check checkpoint. That's ridiculous. Now these are some of the most heavily guarded places in the world. In the world. In the world. And this particular person yesterday morning decides that they're just going to run the gate. So Why? now I will Why give you this. Why would you do I, that? Well, I'll get to that. I'll get to Unless that. Unless you're a terrorist. Why I'll, would you do that? I'll get to that. So there was a reason behind it. So this particular person decided to run this uh, this security checkpoint at the Air Force Base at F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Um, they met with some resistance. Now, they weren't necessarily shot at, uh, at to my knowledge at all, but there were other other systems implemented now you mentioned the balusters that come up or the the metal wall that come up and that's exactly what happened so they do have quick react i hope they have full coverage oh my gosh (laughs) i hope they do too there are quick react barriers that that these air force security guys in in any military uh installation can hit and these barriers will come up and not allow any any vehicles in and that's what exactly happened in this case so as it turns out and and i cannot confirm this this is a hearsay um part of this but can you guess what this person was doing um i'll give you two guesses the first one doesn't count i know we really didn't talk about this before no the we show. didn't that's why i'm asking I, I just want your, no, just I want give your me a genuine second. opinion give me a on second this. um this is a mental process no you got this uh, okay you got so this. i mean there's so many reasons there i mean there uh they're in there's love a with someone on base and they don't have the right credentials or That's they're trying to do something, you know, uh, devious or something to hurt somebody. Absolutely. And that's um, two. Or. You only got two guesses. That's it? Okay. Yeah, that was it. You oh, had the uh, the it. person on base and the devious. Okay. Well, I wanted more guesses. Okay. I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. You know what? We're buddies. I'll give okay. you one more. Okay. Okay. Um, Come on. You got this. Actually, I don't. You got this. 
besides being you know some sort of uh terrorist uh aspect yeah. or yeah. they're in love with somebody and they don't have id and they're right. a felon right. and they don't want to be you know processed through the mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. system and 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 vetted through the, the the gate guard right um dude i don't know you tell me this was an uber eats driver Really? <laughs> now, I realize, ladies and gentlemen, and Trog, that you make money based on time, right? But at some point, when somebody purchases your services or requests your services to bring them some food on a military air force base, I would think in my own head. Now, again, this is my own head. Please forgive me. And believe me. me, I don't think that's their first time going onto the base. I and they can't know the protocol. It is. I the can't pro believe it is. Well, maybe it was. Maybe they had no idea. And, and maybe so. But at the same time, if you're going to enter a military air force base and you're going to deliver food, just stop at the gate. Just stop at the checkpoint. Hey, Uber Eats driver, I'm going to whatever'sville. Whatever's Phil, that's awesome. I got nothing for that. Oh, so but it, they were delivering food. Now, this is my question. Uh, I guarantee they didn't get five stars on that delivery. I cannot. And, I cannot and, and, see and, them getting five stars. And knowing what those uh, th those uh, you know deployment uh, stopping devices yes. can do. Yes. Once again, they better have had like full fucking coverage. Yes. Oh my gosh! Here's the deal. So I can't imagine the little guy Kogeko coming up on their fucking uh, dashboard, going, uh, "You want to save some money on your car insurance at this point?" I can't <laughs> see that happening. You know, <laughs> no. And I don't no. see, I don't see anybody calling. But I him. do see Flo on the side of the road going. <laughs> we're, not we're not covering this. We're not this. covering this. This Listen, is not. Listen, we covered. love you. This is. Not we covered. love your support, but. Mm. No, this is not covered. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, this is this this falls into the realm of what the hell? Of were you Wyoming, thinking? Wyoming, obviously. Well, Wyoming all, has Wyoming, some yes. strange things going on. We all have strange thing, uh, things going on, but Jesus Christ, man! Some beards linked just... into a chain, and oh. then so, an Uber driver, uh, Uber Eats driver. Oh, let's Uber get that eats, right. Uber Eats driver going into a, a military facility and not knowing the protocol to stop and show identification and get through the process. Listen, they may have been late on another delivery and they're afraid to get that fourth or third star. It might be getting cold. Yeah. Who knows? But I would love to have a follow up. I don't think it will ever happen. No, I doubt it. <laughs> but that was but crazy. I would love to too. But at this point, I don't think anybody's gonna be calling them anymore about their car's extended warranty. No, no, they'll they'll keep doing that. Um, they will they will keep doing that. They will they will talk about your warranty when you need oh. to have a car. And we're like, oh, you got a car or roller skates? We want to insure you. <laughs> Either way, we got you. We got you for the right amount of money. We got you. So yes, I, absolutely. So uh, let's move out of Wyoming a little bit. Let's head a little bit south. You want to get a little warmer? Uh, are we going to Georgia? Georgia. Keep Are going. we going? Keep going. South Carolina. Keep going. Keep going south. Ooh, the Penis Peninsula. The Penis Peninsula. Florida. We're going to Florida. So this one was recent. Um, we had a Florida. Uh, I, I want to say a, a, a subject or a suspect at this point. I, I I don't know. I don't even know how to go about this one. But uh, Florida suspect who ran from police. He was driving about 110. He had a suspended license. Um, I don't know. I don't think there was much more to this other than the fact he had a suspended license. It was running from the police. Now, boys and girls, in most cases, you're going to get a ticket and be sent on your way. So, OK, I mean, we can agree again. With that, right? This is a PSA for everyone. Oh, this, this is, is definitely a law a enforcement officer that pulls people over for well, various reasons. Sl slow down on that. <laughs> you don't? I don't. I don't really know. I mean, occasion if they deserve it, absolutely. I mean, if, okay. it, if it's well, let's just get back egregious, to the fact that they deserve yes. it. So, okay. if you're pulling someone over and they just run from you because they're afraid of their suspended, suspended license, license, right? What a dumb way to ruin your life, right. guys, ladies, and gentlemen. Unless you have other egregious issues like being drunk or uh, a stolen baby or cocaine in the car, uh, stop, pull over. Be pleasant to them. Well, don't. now, now, hold on, now, now, hold on. You don't know my whole story here, Trog. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the general public. No, 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 no. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. So this is All part right. of my story. 
All this right. is part of my story. So you said, what was the last thing you said? Be courteous, right? Yes. Okay. Please be courteous. All right. It it takes you f- further than you you know. You're absolutely right. And Zachary Siebert was, um, he Zachary Siebert was on 95 in Florida. Okay. And he was running from the police at about 110. Mm. Um, he had a suspended license. Mm. He ended up. Um, Stopping for whatever reason. Now, I'm not sure if he actually ended up pulling over or if there was some mechanical failure or otherwise that caused him to stop. But I will, I will give you this. Now, Now, what was, again, what was the last thing that you said? Be courteous, right? I think it goes a long way. Oh, my gosh. You're absolutely right. Zachary Siebert thought the same thing. So as he bailed out of his car, and he is playing literal Frogger across I-95 <laughs> in Florida. No, hold on. Hey, no, wait for it. Wait for it. I'll wait you for you. People in the 80s that. remember that no, reference. Take, take that drink. Take that drink. Take that drink. You're going to need this. Zachary Siebert was running across I-95 from the police after he ran from them, literally playing Frogger. And in the midst of him playing Frogger across a very, very busy interstate, he turns around and yells back to the police, I'm so sorry. Um, okay. That doesn't change anything. At but it that does. Point, he's being courteous. Yeah. Well, okay. But he's being courteous. That's, that's a, uh, that's a late line courteous but, I mean, at this uh, point, reaction. It, he's already ran. He left the car. He ran again. But if uh, you're, he evaded, uh, let me, uh, he evaded, he, he did, left the he car, did, he, he did ran. Do that. He did and do that. then he said, Oh, sorry. But I'm in was, tasers. But I'm in taser sorry. range. I'm sorry. sorry I'm in taser range, please. But he definitely made his um, apologies known as he's doing this. I mean, he's literally running across I-85 playing Frogger. Now, I I can't. If you've never been to Florida, if you've never been on I-95, it's a fairly busy interstate. And for him to take the time to stop and, and say, I'm so sorry. At that point, I mean, I just I. Well, first of all, I'm not chasing him on. Foot. I'm so sorry for challenging your video game physical skills to go through the Frogger <laughs> Interstate. Listen, if you make it, I, I am still sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but this guy, he 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 knew the courtesy, oh, and he he was bit. brought up. Um, he was brought up semi semi the right way, semi the right way. I mean, he did have the courtesy to uh, to um, you know at least. So Let what the was the end result? Let's just put that in well, perspective. Well, he, he was taken into custody, obviously. Okay. And he was, but he, he wasn't was abused or and, was he no, tased? No, no, absolutely. I, you I know why? Because no. he was in tased he, distance and he knew to submit and and and, and apologize. Otherwise, don't tase me, bro. <laughs> he he knew he was screwed at that point. Let's There's only a few people I've ever seen that, that have been tased that were like, oh. Pull out the prongs. Oh, right. what? <laughs> yep. Yep. Tasing is is a life uh, changing experience, from what I understand. Electricians, you know this firsthand. I don't. I do not want to experience that. Didn't listen? You, I've you licked a nine volt t- battery, and that's like the extent I ever want to go. But to you did it like once tased. or twice, and then you're like, no, I'm not doing that stuff again. No, 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 no. You know what? It was fun the first time, just to see how it is. But after that, we're done, right? Are do we have any more news from the Penis Peninsula? Oh, Trog, it's Florida. You know we do. I, I, listen, it's an endless, it's a, a it's endless a, source of entertainment. Oh my gosh! And uh, we are eventually you know, going to have a segment that's going to be dedicated. What did Florida do now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what though? Ohio is just about as bad. But we're really? going to stay in Florida. We're going to stay in Florida. See, I'm from San Diego. I'm getting to learn all the craziness of the Midwest and the South and everything. I've been like, just you know, I've been on the West Coast my whole life, so. I am really enjoying all the craziness that happens out in this region. I'm going to tell you, we do some stupid shit. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean you we, too. We really, oh, I'm, you know, I digress on that. Let's just, let's leave that. For yeah. Yeah. Day. Let's, let's, let's leave your let's history leave it where it was oh my in gosh, the past. I can't even, I can't even, <laughs> yeah, let's, I mean, there's, there's, there's some skeletons in that closet. Let's just be honest. Um, we're going to stay in Florida for this one. So we have a Florida woman who reportedly stabbed her sister with an EpiPen. Now, Ooh, was she stung by a bee? So if you're not familiar with an EpiPen, it is typically used to combat allergies. Allergies severe, and bee stings severe allergies. and stuff like right. that, right? So if you're allergic to, uh, potentially deathly allergic to something, you're issued an EpiPen or you're prescribed an EpiPen and you keep that with you in the event that you come in contact with anything. <laughs> exactly. You're exactly right. Oh, I'm going to live. You're exactly right. So, God bless Florida. 
That is that is that's well, where I'm going to go he, with that. He, he God. definitely needs to go there and like start anointing people and changing their life oh, with blessings. Oh my gosh! But. Don't we all need? It? Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, please. I I, I love the it. The penis peninsula. I just I some of these things, Trog. I can't wrap my head around. You know, uh, and it takes me. A minute. Most people and, can't. And, and, but this Florida woman, she stabbed her sister with an epipen. Ooh. No, well, wait for it. Wait for it. Because she said her sister was allergic to what drunks. Okay, so let me get this. <laughs> let me get this right. The sister is probably the drinker. Am I correct? Oh, I, and she's I, the I stabber of the bet. pen. Yes. And because of her actions and her sister saying that I don't like being around people like you, she's like, "This will cure you. This will happy pen of yeah. drunkness." <laughs> you kidding me? No, no. Sadly, I'm not. Okay. Um, and what did she get charged with? She you did know. get charged with aggravated battery. Okay. Um, deservedly so. Deservedly so. Because, listen, when you inject an EpiPen, it's a one-time deal. Yes. Listen, it is a you're one-time not, deal. This is not being thorough. This is committing a felony. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm going to go one step further with that. Now, you may not like being around intoxicated people if you're not intoxicated. I get that. You no, may not I like do being, too. you may not like being around intoxicated people if you're intoxicated. That I mean, uh, uh, to each his own at that point. But for somebody else to decide that you are allergic to drunk people and, and decide by the to way, I got a you, fix for you, girl. Exactly, and decide <laughs> to jab you with a legit epipen. <sighs> I can say only in Florida. That's you know what? I Listen, I want to segue here uh, from the Penis Peninsula to my friend Five O. We talked about this last episode, which will be out uh, just before this. Uh, you know, so later he, today. he is such a loving person, and he loves my animals. He loves our dog. And we, <laughs> oh, we're going to go ahead, and we are going to celebrate Nala in the background. That's Nala. Yeah, that is and Nala. he decided a little Flor- Floridian oh. uh, kind of uh, action by him. Is he loves my dogs. He loves his own dogs. Yeah. And uh, she was sleeping on the couch just in front of us right here. We're in I, the basement. I We're in the five O and Troglodyte spaceship basement show. And she was sleeping on the couch. And he was waking her up with his face this close yeah. to her nose. Oh, I love and that dog. And though, you know, we're still, you know, we've only known each other for five months, something like that. Oh, no. She's had limited, you know, uh, access to him uh, as a person. And, uh, she woke up and bit his ass in the freaking nose. Right. In the, no, I now, realize. Now, this it's is the a PSA that fuck. I'm coming out with, yeah. folks. Now, listen, listen, if you have a dog, <sighs> you can do whatever you want. It loves to trust you. But if you have a dog that's not yours in your face, don't wake that animal up with your face. I, now, we're gonna, test I want you to go ahead and point your head towards the camera and show them. Point my fucking head towards yeah, the camera. Yeah, show them show the, oh, yeah. the bite See marks. Right there. Yeah. Listen, he already had a schnauzer. Oh, and, uh, that man, it's a huge well, target. She didn't have to fucking no, hit much. She, I mean, she, she had she, everything she, right there. She went like this. She went, eh. That's, that's <laughs> she, it. Meh. And then she was like, oh, fuck. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. You know, the beautiful thing about dogs, if they're good dogs, they, they're rea- you know reactionary. And yeah. she felt threatened. And but she saw what she did and she was all she was she hung her head and and it, it was uh, I just want to bring that up because you know we all act like Florida sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I we mean, all I, have a little I've, Florida in us, everybody. Now we, I've been to Florida a few times. I feel like some of it's rubbed off on me. And uh, uh, in, in this particular case, I've only been to Jacksonville. I did some shows down there with my old Skinner tribute, uh, Skinner Innerts, and I'm in this one, Legend, Legend 77. 77. Uh, which is awesome. Lo- love the band. Not going to get into it right now, but that's the only time I was actually uh, in there. I was at, I was at the Jacksonville airport flying out back to San Diego after we did a little tour in that area. But uh, I I really haven't got deep into the uh, the wonderfulness that is Florida. But I will one day. So we have. Uh, do we have another story from Florida? We do. Oh um... God, it never ends. Yeah, so give me just a minute on that one. We'll get to that. Oh, let's take off into the stratosphere let's that is Florida. <laughs> oh, no. Booyah. Oh, yeah. Oh. There it is. There it is. Florida Before is we go crazy, any farther, 
Let's it's just get, the old discotheque. Let's get Florida. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what you do. You don't know what I do. You know no, exactly I'm talking about Florida. Uh, I'm back on the Penis Peninsula. <laughs> you know what? It's a warm climate. Um, yeah, it's it's just very nice. Okay, so what's our new uh, our new position on that? Let's uh, let's go into a break here. Hey, listen, someone's got to pee, and it's not me. <laughs> folks we are back and we're gonna look at some more florida the penis peninsula i'm sorry i'm not disrespectful to people that live there i'm actually jealous great weather except for the hurricanes oh my god the humidity um, i want sucks, I, I want to wrestle an alligator i want to learn how to do you that i really do what uh, dude seriously i would love to wrestle an alligator on purpose uh, on purpose an alligator or a crocodile because there's two different ones you know how you tell them apart um, okay maybe it, um i don't know the indigenous species is it alligator down there do you know how you tell a crocodile and alligator apart um f and g no you tell me now one you'll see later one you'll see after a while Ooh. it's gonna take me a while to really ingest that i'll so, i'll tell you what so that's we, a dad joke you didn't catch on to, is it? No. No. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Oh, no. look at <laughs> you. We got to make yeah. a, a new episode, our, our new segment, uh, Dad Jokes, so dad you can jokes. appease all the children out there that aren't supposed to be watching our show. No. Because we are a hot mess, and we are the Troglodyte and oh, 5-0 it's Spaceship like a- Basement Show. Yeah. And by the way, we got one more Floridian story oh yeah and i love this too because this is close to my heart and outlaw oh. country music oh my a little God. george john <laughs> white oh. lightning all right hit so, him with hit him with the hammer so this 5-0. story this story is a little older this comes out of haynes city um haynes city police department in polk county they they um this has been a couple years ago now but this particular guy he was um he he's he he, well, he likes his alcohol truck. You know anybody like that? Not personally. No, not personally. I don't either. This guy he likes his alcohol so much that apparently his his license at some point was uh, suspended, revoked, whatever the case may be. So he wasn't allowed to drive a car, and he understood that. And uh, what he failed to understand was that he also shouldn't be driving a lawnmower. Yeah, I don't think you should be driving a lawnmower either yeah. if you're drinking outside of your yard. I mean, so, listen, if you don't have a drink holder on your lawnmower and you're at home. But if you have a cooler, does it count? Well, listen, I've seen people like on, on sky lifts, on, on those scissor lifts. I, I, saw this one, I saw this one video where this guy had this uh, sky lift and, uh, you know, scissor lift, and he had like multiple cases of beer on it. Oh. And he was driving down the road mm. back home, and uh, the cop was like, where are you going? I was going home. Well, <laughs> and some people think that's normal, and, and God bless them. Yeah. God so- bless them. And that's kind of what we're getting into here with um, with this last story that we have. But it's um, a fellow by the name of Gary Anderson. So he was charged with DUI. And again, this is a couple years old. So so please don't think this was relatively recent. But it was in Haines City, Florida, and he was driving on U.S. seventeen seventy two North. Now, when I say driving, now I, I've already iterated to the fact that he couldn't drive a car, but he was in fact on a lawnmower. Now, it's not just the fact, Trog, that he was actually driving DUI or drunk under the influence on a lawnmower, right? Right. There's got to be more to the story because, that you know, it, you get out in these, these backwoods areas and the county areas, you get that stuff all the time, right? Um, apparently. <laughs> well, more so than more so than actually gets caught. Uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just preface that, but... So this guy's driving north on U.S. 1792, and he hits a car with his lawnmower. Oh, my God. I hope the family wasn't hurt. Trog, it's not just any car. Sorry, I'm, I'm totally distracted by the sperm planet no, behind me. I see that. That is, that is phenomenal. It's, I it's, did that. You did all of that, and it's, it's eerily 
calming and uh, disturbing, and disturbing at, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I tell you that Gary Anderson hit a car, I, it wasn't just any car. I hope it wasn't an ambulance or a school bus no. or a, a bunch of nuns going on retreat. No, no. no. The nuns were already on the retreat. Were, were there they, bus? Already gone. Did the nuns bus, uh, you know, was it constructed with weed? That's a Cheech and Chong reference. I'm sorry, folks. Go ahead. I love you. I love you, too. He hit a squad car. He <gasps> hit a police car. A police car? DUI. Now... I'm going to ask you this question. Was it the middle of the day? Was it night? How much traffic was on the road? It wasn't. Um, so it was about 7 o'clock at night. It, it wasn't. Uh, Dusk. Yeah, I mean, you still, have, you still have a decent amount of traffic on the road at that point. I mean, you're not. What the hell was that? Can you do that again? That was the sunlight That's coming in, into fingers. your unwashed, smoke-filled my, windshield that no, you're not man, maintenancing. Listen, my kids oh, are. There's my no kids windshield. He's no, on, he's a, on lawnmower. a lawnmower. A lawnmower. How dare you, Duncan? No, a lawnmower, and he hits a squad car. Of all T -bone? cars, head on T bone. Hit. I'm guessing in the back. If I had to, if I had hazard to guess, now I don't have the information on that. So How I, can I can't a say yeah, okay? Hold on. How can a lawnmower catch up to a squad car and hit it in, in the rear? My only hopes to that is that it was parked. Okay. So Gary was taken to the Florida, the heart of Florida Regional Medical Center, and he blew. Now, okay, so. In our particular state that we sit here, are you are you aware of the legal alcohol limit? It is point zero eight. If you're not, sorry, I blew it up. It's okay. No. <laughs> I, listen, I was I was going through my my. I know you were doing my, calculations. My computer and shit. Re reference and there my, was smoke starting to come out of your headphones. My Dewey thing. Decimal System. Yeah. I was like, I forget. But, point okay. zero eight. Point mm. zero eight is 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 the legal limit in the particular state that we're in here. And Gary Anderson in Florida, when he hit the back of a police car mm. on his lawn mower. <laughs> He had a blood alcohol content of 0. 0.241. Ooh. Now, for those of you math whizzes out there, you already know that this Ooh. is three times the legal limit. Now, um, Trog, does that remind you of anybody? Does that remind you of anything? Oh, you know Do what? Do you remember any, <laughs> anything White from the past? Lightning. Does that remind Leo you of anything Jones. of the past? Oh man, George Jones, dude. I you know, you know I'm a Southern Rock rock guy and Absolutely. And, and I love outlaw country and listen, I'm not talking shit about the new country cuz there's a lot of good stuff and I get it. There's, there's a lot of talent there. There's some but good man, stuff. I am equated and love outlaw country. So of course, I know that George, oh there he is in the back. Yeah. George Jones was notorious. The possum Dude, sometimes his wife had to hide his keys for that lawnmower. No, she, she would did. hide her she keys, did. She did hide that. his keys rather. And uh, oh my goodness, yes, uh, yes, she it does do remind that. me of someone. Thank you very much. He, a little George um, Jones action. Bless his heart, rest his soul. He was a phenomenal singer. Um, unfortunately, he battled alcoholism for a lot of years. He also, and that's how this equates to this this uh, particular story, is that George Jones also. <laughs> Also was arrested for driving under the influence on a... On more than one occasion, I believe. Yeah, but specifically one occasion on a lawnmower. Let's look at that greatness. That's George Jones, folks. God if you can you. see that, I, I I believe that... that Red may, neck, wonderful, that, that bastard back there. That may be a... <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see him before he passed, but um, I believe that is a cooler there on the back of his John Deere. Well, listen... Um, he was next level. Uh, not just a drink, but no, a cooler. No, no, absolutely. Absolutely. He was ready for himself and many other people. Probably just himself, knowing his addiction. He 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 battled with that for a good many years. He he lost a lot of friends. He lost uh he lost a lot to that. But, Hell, but that you know he, he didn't show up to concerts. He <laughs> that he didn't. He did. Uh, he missed concerts. He missed uh, some other things too. But it, but but the point of the fact is is that you know Gary Anderson in Florida, bless your heart, brother. But uh, stay off the roadways. I don't care and what. Listen, what kind you of may be you emulating your le your legends and, and your heroes, but no one could do it better than George Jones. The <laughs> white lightning. White lightning. Yeah, he was. Uh, 
He was one in a million. He had that voice that you just couldn't replicate, you know. And again, that falls under... Eight Bit Brains. And there you have it, folks. There's our 8-Bit brain segment. Yes, uh, Florida, thank you for so much material oh, that we can't, heart, even, Florida. we can't even weed through it. Oh, there's just gosh. too much, and every day there's more. So It's, 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 it's an ever you know, between Florida and Ohio, Trog, you just, you can't, uh, you just, you can't wrap your head around some of this stuff. No, but you know what? Who knows their upbringing? Who knows their, you know, their Agreed. history? And, Agreed. And their, Agreed. you know, their chemical dependence. You know, it's well, it's a crazy life, issue. and we all um, we also be thankful that we're alive, and we'd be thankful that we get to laugh at others. And that's not happening enough anymore. Everyone's worried about eh, my feelings. You know what? Your feelings are great, and we love you. But laugh at yourself. Laugh yeah. at other people. Enjoy the craziness. That's just we're on this rock in this universe that none of us truly understand, and we should just really so. Oh, there's the sperm again. I love that. I love that video. Oh, why does it keep coming? I mean, <laughs> I see what you that did was there. sort of on purpose. Oh, no, I see that. <laughs> well, you know what? I just want to tell you, folks, that that I absolutely love life. I love my partner, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, we both have uh, a good life, we and do. Uh, do. it's because we're able to express ourselves and, and, and have fun in this way. And we're thankful that you watch us. Please tell your friends, subscribe, and uh, we will have a Patreon because we, we re really would really appreciate some help so we can keep creating content because it's 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 not easy, and it takes time. And, and um, what we're trying time. to do is is, is not an easy endeavor for anyone that that knows what we're doing. They Those people know. I it like takes a lot too. to do something like this. So I'm thankful for all the people that spend the time watching this show. We sometimes are a hot mess, and so we're not like your talking head normal. We're more your bobble do doll head uh you know uh, uh personalities here so we're we're all over the place but we really enjoy bringing this show to you folks so we hope you enjoyed as well we want you to have a wonderful thanksgiving i know that i'm already portly and i am going to be <laughs> gaining some more weight <laughs> Because I love the stuffing. Oh, I so heard that stuffing. about you. But you know what? You need to dig that cranberry sauce a little more. Listen, I will give it a shot because guess what? Upstairs, my lady has a bunch of fresh cranberries. Does she and really? Yes, we've had this discussion about the canned cranberries and how I hated it yeah. my whole life. Yeah. And she never buys any of that. She only buys fresh cranberries and makes her own mix. And she is one of the only people people in my life that i have really enjoyed their uh her cranberry mix it's just wonderful um i don't eat a lot of it but i eat enough to change the palate because there's so much sure. on thanksgiving oh my god oh it's just a plethora of food uh, I mean, our next show i think is sunday because i don't think we could do one on friday i just oh, don't think i could i don't know that we could nap through an entire show well, I I don't know who would watch it, but uh, you know, there's mukbang shows. Maybe we should start there's doing what? that, like What'd just eating just mukbang. Do you know what, what that means? What the hell is mukbang? Mukbang is when people are eating like just random, like all kinds of different stuff, and and this like chopping and 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 no, my girl on, tells on, me all the time on, that on. I should start a mukbang channel because hold on, hold on. Okay, this is so this is so getting out out of uh, where we were at. No, but. that's kind of the point of this show. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Between it's the two of us, we, just, we don't stay on track at all. <laughs> mukbang. What the hell? You need to explain this to me more. Okay, so well, look just... it up after the show. Mukbang oh, is uh, is videos watching people eat food. No, I'm doing it now. Well, Hold it's on, what this. it's about. But um, the whole point is just enjoy yourself. If if you have enjoy something that you want to do that you can't do in your normal life in your job, just Take your time when you can. Service oh your God. family, service your life, but do the things that make you happy because life is very short, and we all have to find that happiness, and we have to find hope in life. So don't give up on your dreams. This is to just basically normal guys. Ish. That that normal ish, <laughs> <laughs> that that just really wanted to do something for ourselves and then share it with somebody else. Did you know that mukbang is a real thing? I just told you that. No, I know, but I had to. I had to confirm that. I mean, really? you told me uh, a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's be honest, folks. Do you see what's going on here? I, what? 
What's going on? With this guy? What? I just told him about mukbang. No, I know, but I had to actually. So uh, this is a thing. Right? Okay, well, we'll get into mukbang. Can we do I, an episode on that? For sure. Okay. For sure. Ladies I, and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming soon to the Troglodyte and 5 Spaceship Basement Show. Mukbang. The Mukbang Show. And it will be a versus show. 5 versus the Troglodyte. Yes. Will this destroy oh, yeah. the show? Quite possibly. Quite po- No, there's no quite possibly to it, dude. We're doing this. I mean, I'm talking about destroying the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, that may be true. Oh, I'll click, click. No. People just turn it off, turn it off. Kidding. They're like, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. No, folks, subscribe. Subscribe and but like please us. Please do. Please do. Help please us out. Do. Go to our Patreon. Uh, we're trying to get sponsors like Sweetwater and Black Rifle Coffee. And that's another segment, like I talked about before, that we're going to start like testing out coffee and, and things like that. And uh, I know we all love certain things in life, cheeseburgers and coffee and video games. And by the way, uh, I gotta start showing you how good and bad I am at video games. It's it, it it's a love oh and hate relationship gosh. with me. I know, I know, terrible. I know, I know. I'm an adult. I am an a, an older man, and I a, and a I versus, you know it? it's very childish. Whatever. And a lot of people say, oh, video games are a waste of your time. If you do it all the time, every single day, yes, it is. But. Another thing that's great about video games is you get to live a different life within a life. You know, it, it's almost like um, it's almost like a release or or a um, an outlet. You know, you have everything that builds up in your day to day life, and it's almost like an outlet where you can just disappear for a little bit, become shoot something someone else. in the head, and shoot. not go to jail for it. <laughs> well, there's it's that. a bit of a therapy now, session we don't, for we me, don't, by the way. We don't condone violence. No, no, you're drug. a police officer. No, you are a law enforcement officer. Rumor of course, you don't. But we don't. Uh, but it, it's almost like an outlet, and everybody has to have some sort of outlet. Yes, and that's one of mine. And we'll bring that up in the show in the future. We got a lot of stuff. And by the way, on uh, on YouTube at the Troglodyte and Five O Spaceship Basement Show. Leave some comments like, you know, I don't care if it's good, bad or anything. It helps us, helps the algorithms, but it also gives us ideas. Absolutely. You know, listen, we we want to hear from you. Uh, you might have an idea that we're like, whoa, we didn't know about that. You know, we're going to look into that and we're going to bring it up and we're going to mention you. Um, if, if you have a great idea, there's, there's the that sperm, sperm again. again. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got I to take that out. It's so <laughs> no, distracting. you don't. It is so distracting. It's an eye catcher, I'll be Did honest. Did you see that? Did you see that egg? It was it on just, fire. Yes. Uh, but so just just interact with us. Eventually, we're going to do some live streams, but um, just leave comments. And uh, we're going to have a bunch of uh, different guests coming up, uh, different people that uh, we think are, are interesting that will actually show up to our show. Which is not easy. We're in shitter studios. It, uh, you know, I live in an unfinished basement, and we're going to give you an overview of uh, of our uh, you know our workstation, uh, our the video game station. Our we have a vocal booth. DIY, DIY, DIY. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I fucked that one no, up. No, it's all good. Yeah, it's all right. But so we've created a little our 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 little like world in here, and we want to bring you into it. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Love your family. Love your dogs. Mojo, you want to say goodbye? Come here, boy. He's like, I'm sleeping, Dad. Come here, boy. Dad, I'm sleep. Gosh, Dad, Dad I don't want he's to. He's not moving. He, come here. You want to come up? Uh, come on. You got to say goodbye. Mo, to people. Come on, Moj. You got to say goodbye. He's, he's currently oh, being woke come up. Come on. He's done. He's, uh, <laughs> he's out. No, he's. Okay, we need a Mojo yeah, cam, but do Mojo's Mojo. down there. Mojo he's right it. at my feet, if laying on my feet. If you could see what I'm seeing right now, Mojo would murder me. Come here. Come on. We got to say goodbye to the people. No? Dude. Don't you know you're like the only lovable thing about oh this my whole gosh. show? Oh. He's a Yeti. Dude, I, can't, he's a... I can't even pick him Ladies up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mojo. He's just so heavy. Yeah. He's so heavy. He's a big boy. He is, he's, he's big. But Ladies and gentlemen, we, take we, this we, time. Take. I, I'm sorry, Trog. Take this time to, uh, to enjoy life, enjoy your family, enjoy yourself. And we are going to end this uh, episode with a little, uh, a little plug. I am a DJ. Uh, Mojo Entertainment and DJ, and also we're starting a insurance agency that probably is going to pop up next year uh, because we are, we're working on certain things. And uh, listen, be good to each other, love each other, be fun, and you know what? If you have problems in your life, talk to somebody. Oh, absolutely! Hey, Please Trug, talk I, to somebody. Speaking of that, did I mention that uh, 
we're going to have a psychologist slated to come on the show. Yes, uh, and she's wonderful, and she's a, yes. she, uh, she's a police psychologist, yes? So she is a former police officer who turned psychologist. Okay, so she knows a lot about the aspects of being in law, law enforcement. She so. does, she does. And so, she's a phenomenal person. Um, I, I can't say enough about her. What's her name? Uh, her name is Lizzie. We'll, 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 we'll say about that <coughs> Is for she now, thin? Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. You know, you know I, I can bet that at some point there was a jailbreak. Tonight there's going to be a jailbreak. Just kidding, guys. Yeah. All right, we're going to end with this commercial. We love you. Please come and hang out with just two unequated idiots, and we love you. This is, once again, this is a voiceover by the wonderful 5 The Troglodyte and 5 Spaceship Basement Show brought to you by Secure Future Insurance and Mojo Entertainment and DJ Service. Thank you guys so much. Unfortunately... Every good thing has to end, and this is not necessarily a good thing. So subscribe, hang out with us again, and uh, if anything, for Mojo, he's amazing. Again, thank you, everybody.